Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Salem Cruise Light model 24 RLXL. It comes in at 5,025 pounds unloaded and is 28 foot nine inches in length. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around and show you some of the new changes and awesome features on this compact little travel trailer. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside. All right, so stepping onto the inside of this 24 RLXL Salem Cruise Light, as you can notice, is a rear living floor plan. You do have the nice jackknife sofa back here, nice big windows on the rear of the unit as well. Uh, we'll get a little uh, to the storage here in a little bit, but real quick, one thing I do want to note to uh, note is you do have the roll down blackout shades down there which is a nice feature for a entry level travel trailer household and USB outlets on both sides of the sofa as you can see there as well so we pan over here you'll notice you've got the u-shaped dinette uh, there is storage underneath that which we'll take a look again here in a little bit but uh, plenty of room to set the whole family down nice big windows um, again, new furniture color. I'll give you kind of a close-up. It's really nice looking. I like it. I like the two-tone. Uh, and a big change as compared to last year's. You no longer have carpet in this slide. And I think that is just the biggest improvement they could have made. And I absolutely love it. So we spin you back around. You'll notice your breakers and fuses right there. Fireplace above that, which is a nice feature to have in this little trailer and then you do have your AM FM Bluetooth player down here and that does have HDMI and USB ports and then as you can see your thermostats right there and a spot to mount your TV this unit does not come with a TV and as we look up top you'll notice uh, there's your Coleman mock air conditioning system we did upgrade that to a 15,000 BTU central air um, again, that's an option. Not every cruise light has it, but this particular one does. And a couple other things you'll notice you have no heat vents in the floor. Notice that nice herringbone pattern, um, but you have cabinet ducted heating. So this is a centrally ducted furnace, which is really nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll open up all of the storage and take a look at some of the awesome storage solutions that Salem has come up with. All right, guys, so I've got all the storage open, and we'll go ahead and we'll start right by the entry door. So as you can see, nice big pocket back in there. These are all thermal foil sealed edge countertops too, by the way. As we go up top, good storage running all the way across. I like that the doors swing open instead of tilt up, um, which is nice. Um, I really like this wood color. It looks almost old-fashioned I don't I don't think that's the right word but it just looks homey underneath the sofa and of course that both of these will drop down into beds um, but you do have these nice totes and the cool thing about these you can remove them they are food grade so if you want to put some non-perishable items in there you can over here again uh, good storage back in there same thing under the dinette i just have that one closed um, but as you can see you do have another uh, two storage bins one on each side thermal foil countertops in the dinette and i like that they leave this pocket open back here so you can put some things back up underneath there too it's just smart spinning back around over here you've got two full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guide drawers and then over here, you've got a nice spot to uh, put a small trash can as well as the back, get to the back side of your water heater. Again, nice power outlets, easy access right there in the sidewall. You've got a dual basin sink with the aluminum drying rack, high rise faucet. And if we look up top, you'll notice awesome storage here. Uh, it they do give you the shelf now it is removable if you wanted to um, personally I'd leave it in there just so you can double stack things which is really nice you do have the three burner cooktop 
with the oven down below. Above that, you do have the uh, low profile hood range as well as your microwave. And again, this one weighs 5,025 pounds dry. And this is a best in class feature right here. So you've got the 10.7 cubic foot ever chill 12 volt compressor fridge. This will run off of your batteries uh, or solar panel if you choose to add one. And the nice thing about this is it only uses about three amps of power, which is nothing. And you'll also notice this does have the handy little travel lock to keep your doors from, from uh, bouncing open during transit. And then below there is the intake for your furnace. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the storage in this kitchen. Let's go ahead and we'll move a little bit forward in the trailer and take a look at the bathroom because it has a amazing bathroom. It's very well done. All right, guys, so stepping into the bathroom, as you can notice here, you do have the nice pocket door. So that is a welcome feature. It is a little bit space saving. So we come over here and open the shower curtain. You notice the shower pan, not a travel trailer tub. And uh, you'll notice the ABS sound surround paneling, as well as the optional skylight. And if we look over here, you'll notice great extra linen closet. And that is a full, basically floor to ceiling linen closet, which is just awesome. Air conditioning and heating ducts. Another pocket door back here to close off the bedroom. Nice little cubby down there for some extra toilet paper or whatever. And then you have another huge linen, linen cabinet. It is just amazing how much storage they packed into this bathroom. If we look up top, you'll notice the power vent fan. And then if we look over here, you will notice a... That's new. They... Uh, have a light switch over there which is I don't know that they had that last year um, GFI protected outlet nice big forced river size sink you do have a medicine cabinet with a mirror not just a mirror on a wall and then if we look down here you do have plumbing access as well as a little bit more storage okay guys let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the bedroom now of this 24 RL XL Salem all right, guys, so stepping into the bedroom, you'll notice the queen size bed, fully walkable uh, queen. Uh, if we come over here, you'll notice house, uh, or USB plugs, not household. The household plugs are actually back there in the cabinet. And the reason that they do that is you'll notice this little cutout right here. That is so you can put a CPAP machine in the bottom there and um, have it up closer to you where it's easier to get to. Hanging storage on both sides of the bed. Mirrored wardrobes, of course. And then if we lift up the bed here, it is on gas struts. Access to your pass-through. Where this comes in handy is if cargo shifts during transit, you can come in here and kind of push things to the side. And then down here you have more stow and go bins as well as shoe storage underneath. And that man, I tell you, they just with their stow and go stores, it's just awesome. And then of course I've saved the best thing for last. As we come over here, you'll notice again a heat vent, AC vents in here, but you have a floor to ceiling closet. You can put coats in here extra clothes whatever you want to put in here and then I love that they have this window that opens on this side so many brands will put a big vertical window but it doesn't open and that just makes all the sense in the world but again huge closet so if you're gonna take extended trips this would be a great trailer to take because just it's got so much storage in it it's it's amazing all right guys that's going to wrap it up for the interior. Let's go ahead, we'll jump onto the exterior and talk about some of the really cool features and changes there. All right, guys, so we're on the exterior of this 24RL XL Salem. As you can see over here, 
We'll start at the front. You do have a power tongue jack with a light, two 20 pound propane tanks. You've got the safety chain hooks, which is really convenient, as well as the seven way plug holder. And then down here, you do have a handy battery disconnect so you can kill all that power to that 12 volt fridge. There's a better look. Coming around over here, you do have your uh, new, uh, or your Furion solar charger. So you, if you wanted to, you could plug a solar panel into here to charge your battery. This switch here will be for your electric stabilizing jacks. Your baggage doors here, they are held up by magnets, which is very handy. And then if we look down here, you'll notice great pass-through storage. Um, again, that's really handy in a smaller travel trailer. As we pan down the side here, you'll notice a little bit different metal than last year. It's a little bit lighter and it does not have the, the, uh, the tough coat as compared to last year. Power awning with LED lights is standard. Um, and then you do have the exterior speakers, 110 outlet and a cable connection. That's something I don't believe they had last year. This is a dual axle travel trailer. And you do have the friction hinge door, which is really handy. Um, that way it's not flopping in the breeze. And then you do have the two-step Lippert component solid step, which is really handy. It takes a lot of the jiggle and wiggle when you're going in out of the coach uh, off the trailer and off the suspension. And then right back here, you do have your rear switch for your electric stabilizer jacks. Got your spare tire right here with the cover. And if we look up top there, you'll notice you do have the backup camera prep uh, so you can add one if you wish 3 8 plywood roof decking 5 8 uh, tongue and groove plywood floor decking um, fully walkable roof that does have a pvc membrane now which is a little bit different than last year of course you can see your nice big slide out oh, i do want to point this out you do have cable satellite here again there's a better look at those stabilizer jacks. And as we come up front, you've got your terminations. Right here will be your 30 amp hardwired cord. And then right here, you've got your black tank flush to clean out your toilet tank, as well as your city water connection. And I believe your fresh tank was on the other side. I believe I just missed it. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Salem Cruise Light model 24 RLXL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and would like pricing as well as availability, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 806-335-2336. You can also shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Real quick before you go, if you wouldn't mind, uh, hitting that thumbs up button down below that lets us know uh, uh, how, how we're doing on these videos and it also helps promote our videos via the YouTube alg algorithm also if you're a newcomer feel free to subscribe for more of our uh, content on all the new arrivals that we're getting again we thank you very much for watching this video today and uh, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day